So next part is for the purchase self bill. Okay, so actually for self bill, uh, it is only apply for certain scenario. Okay, actually for nine scenario lah. Okay, you can check back at our website or the my invoice portal. Okay, so I will explain for the common scenario lah. Okay, let's say you have you are in a import or export business. Okay, so means you got import items lah. So for in Import goods or service, you need to do self bill because that foreign supplier didn't give you e invoice for you to claim your expenses. You need to do self bill to prove your expenses. Okay. Another one. Let's say you have purchased from the individual taxpayer. Okay. That do not conduct any business. So for this one, you need to do self bill to prove your expenses. Actually, for self bill, you need to do the setting first. System admin tools, document number. Okay, you go to. You need to create a new document number for self bill. You click add, and then you go to purchase invoice. Purchase invoice for self bill. So this one prefix you change to self, and then you tick the self bill document. Okay, so for this document number also, if you have license, you can choose the data access point, which is you can submit the uh, self bill immediately. Okay, so now I already added. Now you go to purchase, purchase invoice. Now I want to issue the invoices from my foreign supplier. Okay, so for this you add supplier. Make sure you change the document number to self built okay and then you choose body and then let's say i buy magazine b20 save product and then save okay so for this one uh i need to go to purchase e invoice document okay not send yet now i tick this one and then send for self bill just now we already created the document number right so i need to show you how i maintain the creditor maintenance so make sure you put the supplier name and then okay this one i need to put new york lah because you cannot leave it blank Okay, postcode maybe one to one more. And then, so for USD supplier, foreign supplier, you need to fill up EI9030, which is import transactions where foreign supplier's team is not available or not provided. Okay, so make sure the BRN, you need to choose BRN. Okay, and then you click save. Okay, so now I want to create the purchase invoice. This one I delete. Add. Okay. So now, uh, for import of from foreign supplier, there are two types. Okay. Either you import goods or import service. Okay. So for import goods, you need to make sure that the import goods, you need to include the K1 form. Okay. So first, you choose your supplier code. And then you choose the item. So I import the magazine from US. Okay. Save. So where you need to update the K1 form, remember to change the document number to self. And then you go to footer. You need to fill up the e-invoice additional information. So here I have a column for reference number of customs form number one nine. So you put the K1 form lah. Okay, after you put the K1 form, you click OK. Then you save. Okay, so now I did uh, save the self bill document. You go to purchase, e invoice sent document. You tick and then click send. And then accept it one. Now you change to send. 
さあ見てステイですでも前に聞きたりべきうんとだいでどう ?OK。So,、uh, that is how you want to import from foreign supplier lah. OK, let's see. You want to pay for your rental. OK, or you want to pay for your utilities. OK. So, if you are confused with the e invoice survey features in million,、uh, we advise you to use manually at the my invoice portal. Okay, which is you go to the my invoice here, you click new document and then you choose for self bill invoice. Okay, so uh this one is for because self bill we didn't issue many document. Okay, let's say uh once a month maybe you have one to three self bill invoice. Okay, so we advise you use directly at the self bill, but uh my invoice portal. But if you want to use million, also can. Okay. So just now, if you want to submit for USD supplier. Okay. So let's say in your、uh, current practice, is you use the cash book entry for the rental and utilities. Okay. So let's say I pay rental. Until May, pay to Mr. Hong. Okay, so I keep him rental, his rental. So I pay him four hundred. See, okay, and then I click save. So for rental of your building, you need to check either the rental is towards the owner, which is individual, or the owner is company. So if your owner is individual, you need to do self bill for him because he cannot issue you e invoice. Okay, but if your owner is a company, so you don't need to issue self bill. You need to request e invoice from that company. Okay, so another one. Uh, rental. You need to check the utilities is on your company name or on your owner name. If on your owner name, we need to do self bill for him. But if the utilities is on your company name, you don't need to do any self bill. Okay. So let's say another one is electricity. So this one I pay to T and B. Okay, account number, water and electricity. I pay fifty ringgit saja. Okay. So, I got two lah, rental and utilities. Okay. So after I create at the cash book entry, I can copy it to the purchase invoice. So I go to purchase. Purchase invoice, add, and then I choose my owner information. So make sure you have add your owner at the creditor side, lah. Okay. So this is an individual, lah. So make sure remember to change to purchase invoice for self built, and then after you choose the creditor and then change to self built, and then make sure you here click generate. Okay, and then you choose payment. Retrieve records from cash book payment. So, because of both my rental and electricity is on my owner name, so I need to self bill him. So I take both document, and then I generate. So it will not add any product code. Okay, because it is generated by payment. So I click save. Okay. Once you save, you go to purchase e invoice sent document. So now I have one self built. Okay, total is four hundred fifty. Okay, and then I click send. Change to send request. Refresh. Check status. Self 
fairly okay so this one is still checking lah okay it takes time okay so let's say like it's already valid for local supplier you need to share the staff bill to them but if the supplier is foreign foreign supplier you don't need to issue you don't need to share the self bill okay so let's say i want to preview this one self bill invoice okay so this is how the self bill invoice look like lah so the name of the company is our company and then invoice number is self 003 supplier and then recipient is our name and then the description is rental may electricity may so this is the amount okay so because this one is should be have the qr code lah Wait, uh, i check back got validated or not okay so that validated you go back to purchase invoice So now it have the QR code. So this e self bill e invoice you need to share to your supplier owner lah. Okay. So this is how the for foreign supplier looks like lah. Okay. So okay, got another way. Okay, this one ah. If you afraid that this document will be posted two times okay i show you the gl transaction okay so basically for our payment just now oh i thought that reference number cash book payment reference number pv Okay, so in your GL transaction, okay, so you only have the post to account is only the PV. Okay, the self bill just now, which is self bill 3, can it will not post to GL. Okay, so you only posted one, which is the payment. Okay, but for self bill just now, because we created directly at the purchase invoice, this one is for foreign supplier. So this one will post it to GL lah. Okay, let's say uh, you don't want to create at cash book, but you want to direct key in at the purchase invoice, also can. So how to do it? Okay, let's say I want to create rental for this month. Okay, June. So I choose this owner, change to self build. Okay, so now I choose the account number. Okay, rental June. Okay, so I pay for 100. Save. Okay, then I click save. Okay, so I create a self bill for okay. So I go to purchase e invoice document. This one I submit lah. Mm -hmm. Then I change to send. Check mm -hmm. status. I'm sorry, my trials already remit. Okay, because for this trial only can submit around twenty transaction. Okay, so never mind. I want to show you the posting to GL for this transaction. So you can see for this self bill for when you directly key in at the purchase invoice, it will post to GL. But if you copy from payment voucher, it will not posting two times. Okay, we are only posting the payment voucher, but the when you join it at the purchase invoice there, it will not post it to GL. Okay, so maybe you can watch this video for a few times only you can understand lah. Okay, so but if you don't want to confuse, you can really submit at the 
quick pop and sorry my invoice portal okay this one is easier lah no need to copy okay so that's all for today's training 